Hello, we coming at you live October 19th from York Mountain. And buddy, we've had us a good run this year. I've been on the baby duty here lately. We got us a little two week old. She's doing great. I appreciate everybody lifting us up. Got me a little plot here. And I had that covered up with black plastic for a while. This is where we had our melons growing. And you can see they took over, uh, grass took over, melons have played out. But Lord, they yielded plenty of food for us. And right here, I just got a little old row broke up. You can see I got my Brazilian hoe out. I've done a ton of gardening with just this little thing. If you've got soft enough ground or damp enough conditions, you can get it going. And, uh, I'm going to put me some turnip grains there. I'm a little late on them this year, but I've had pretty good luck with them coming in late November before. Uh, these have played out, you know, but they're sprouting. Sprouting up. That was where my peas were. I'm going to show you all a little something. There's old boy up the road. And uh, he's a good gardener, got a green thumb. He's always got some great plants. And we went through a hellacious drought this year, and I watered these, I mean minimally. There was probably a week and a half or two weeks that I didn't water them. And these are black creme heirloom plants that I got from that feller. And they are still kicking and actually got blooms on them. And I know a lot of folks uh, have good luck with the maters, but... I'll be honest with y'all, I kind of let these go for a good minute. And there's that California uh, giant bell. It's survived the heat. And usually they're not real heat tolerant. But uh, like I said, that guy's always got some good plants. He starts in his greenhouse. And I really appreciate him hooking me up. But, uh, it's been a blessing, like I said. You just um, weather the elements, and if you put enough work into it and lucky enough, you have you something, and we had this year.